With the email marketing web tool, it's possible to create and schedule an email to be sent out to a list of your contacts all at once. To do this, you will need the email marketing web tool, which can be added by going to settings and web tools. Then go to the available web tools button and scroll down until you find email marketing. And you can click add. And now you have the email marketing tool installed. Before I can send out any emails to the email marketing, I need to be set up with a mail service. To do this, I'm going to go to settings and then email. Once here, I'm going to click on SMTP settings. We suggest using a Mailgun account, but you can also set up with Mandrill if you like. If you click on the support button, there are videos to help you with both. Or you can contact us and we'd be more than happy to get something set up for you. To create an email, I'm first going to go to emails and then view emails. Here, I will see a list of the existing emails that I've already created, so I can go back and edit them or schedule them to be sent out. For now, I'm going to click on Create New Email. The first thing I need to do is create a name for my email. This is a name that my customers will never see, and it's just for me to be able to know what the email is about. If you like, you can choose a template to help create your email. Simply select one from the template dropdown, and a preview will appear over to the side. If you'd rather create it yourself, choosing custom gives you a completely blank space to work with. This page will show me a preview of the email that I'm looking at. Since this is a brand new email, there's nothing to show. So in order to create something, I'm going to come over here and click on edit. The first thing I'm going to do is fill in my subject line. Notice the gray text below. I can use these tags to automatically print the names of my contacts as the email is being sent out. For instance, I can make my subjects say, hello first, and when this email is sent to my list of contacts, it will replace that first in the brackets with the first name of the contact in my CRM record in order to say something like, hello Catherine, or hello Dave. You can use these same first, last, and full name tags in the body of the email as well to fill out your contact's names. If for some reason your contact does not have a name, your email will automatically fill in with whatever you've placed in this alternate name. You can either leave it blank or put in something generic. If you have the Email Marketing Pro web tool, you can customize the from name and the from email address for each email individually. If I scroll to the bottom, you can see the email editor. Here is where I will change the content of the email itself. Remember, when editing your email content, you can use custom formatting, coloring, and even insert images if you like. When you are finished, scroll back up to the top and click on the Save and Preview button. Now that I have content in my email, the preview is showing me what is going to be sent out when I do schedule this email. Before I schedule it, first I'm going to click on Send Test Email. I can send a test email by typing in my email address and then clicking on Send Email. This will send the exact email to me that is going to be sent out when I schedule it for a mass sending. If for some reason you need to send out an email to only one contact instead of a whole list of them, you can also use the Send Test Email to do that as well. Notice the statistics over here that show that I have sent one email. This was the test email that I just sent to myself. When you schedule this email to be sent to hundreds of people, the statistics will be more informative telling you who opened it and who clicked on the links inside of the email. You can even click on these numbers here and see a list of the emails that fall in that category. So now that I'm ready to send this out, I'm going to click on Schedule Email. The tagging system that is used in the CRM is also used in the email marketing. Here I can select which groups of people I would like to send this email to by selecting the tags. I can also specify whether I want to send to active or inactive members, and I can also choose to clear the statistics before I send this email so that I know I have a fresh slate. If I have a Facebook account connected, I can even choose to post this email on my Facebook account. The subject line in the Choose Email should automatically be filled in with the information from the email you were just on. Lastly, I can use the date selector to pick the date and the time that I want my email to send out. When I'm ready to send this out, I just click on Send Email. Now if I go back to Emails and View Emails, I can see the emails that I have scheduled to send out and when they are going to be sent.